Hi, my name is Miranda Stanglin and I'm a mathematician and this is how to teach irregular shapes in math. When we talk about irregular shapes, basically what we need to do first is define what a regular shape is. And I actually have two of them right here to the right. Uh, first I have an equilateral triangle and also a square. And in an equilateral triangle, the length of each side is the same, as well as the angles. So all of my lengths of this triangle are the same size and all of my angles measure to be 60 degrees. In a square, it's the same thing. All of my sides are the same length and each corner measures 90 degrees. When we go to talk about what an irregular shape is, I'm just gonna draw an example of a house. It's got an equilateral triangle on top and a rectangular bottom. This is an irregular shape because not all of the sides match. Some of the sides match, these two sides match, these two sides match, but this side here is a lot longer than the bottom side here. And when we look at the triangle, the lengths up here are a lot longer than this length right here. So they don't all match, which means this is an irregular shape. When you move to geometry in your math classes, a shape that we use a lot is called a trapezoid. A trapezoid looks like this. And what a trapezoid has is what we call congruencies which means that two sides are matching up. So this side here matches with this side here, and the side on top matches to the side on the bottom. So if this side was two inches long, that means that this side over here is also two inches long. The side on top, if it was four, then I know that the side on the bottom is also four because this is a congruent trapezoid. The other part of congruency is with the angles. So if I look at the angle here and here, they're going to be the same. And also this angle and the one on the bottom corner, they're going to match as well. So let's just, if we wanted to solve a problem, let's just take an example. Let's say that this angle here is 75 degrees. That means that this angle over here is also 75 degrees. And I need to solve for the angle here and how much is that angle. So if I label this C, I know this is going to be C because they're congruent. I know that there are 360 degrees in a square. So 360 is equal to 75 plus C plus 75 plus C. So when I simplify this down, I get 360 is equal to 150 plus C, plus two C's. And I get, I need to move 150 to the other side. And I get 210 is equal to two C. So if I wanna solve for C and figure out what this angle is, I divide by two. So I get C equal to 105. So this has been a little bit about working with congruencies and how to solve angles with them and how to use irregular shapes in math.